Hi guys, happy Sunday to you all. I know this is the title. And you know, say it's an updated salt mackerel rundown, guys. I realize that I love the salt mackerel because the last salt mackerel video I did is 10k. So I'm saying, you know, I'm doing an updated one. So here are all my ingredients that I'm going to be using. First, I have my salt mackerel. This is soaked. This is soaked overnight. And I'm going to um, I'm gonna boil it for about a five minutes, right? So over here I have skeleton and thyme, garlic, onion, tomatoes. This is black pepper, vinegar, some fermented seed, and here's my coconut milk. I don't know if there's on the channel, but I did those two with the natural coconut milk. But for some people who live in certain places and then can't but that can't be bothered with the with the coconut, forgot to look for the coconut. Here is, here is the reason why I'm doing this one with the packed coconut, right? And it's gonna be nice, same way. I start my so I'm gonna put it in my pot. So I'm gonna set up it for five minutes, okay? Get some warm water, the water don't start boiling as good, but it's warm. I'm start it off, you know, for five minutes. All the salt has already come out, you know, but we still want to have a cook it first, you know, before we start to do the gravy the right way. So, tell me if you have a chop. <laughs> tell me, guys, if you, have, you can't have salt mackerel run down without two dumplings, without two candy dumplings. Tell me. So, here, are, here is my flour and my cornmeal. Okay, I have some nice banana here. I cook some of the banana here the other day and it was so soft. So I have a sweet potato. And I'm buying banana, guys. The lighter the skin of the banana, the softer the banana. But you see, the banana, then the skin them kind of dark, dark. You know, it's that possibility that the banana is hard or the banana is tough when you cook it. Yes, yeah, so that's a little tip. Back in the whole time, days now, we used to cook. We used to use, uh, I'm not saying they're all over them, we used to use uh, breadfruit and uh, breadfruit, that, 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 the breadfruit kind of not the breadfruit fit, a nice fit breadfruit with the salt mackerel around them that was nice, mackerel them these days, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to use Guys, I don't eat white flour dumpling, you know, so I always try and put a little cornmeal into the flour to just balance the flour, you know? Yeah. So guys, here is my mackerel. It's boiling. Soon, soon I'm turning up the stove. Because guess what now guys? You still want the mackerel to have in a little salt. You don't want it too fresh you know? If the salt mackerel is too fresh, it's not gonna be that nice. And if it's too salty, it's still not gonna be that nice. Unless you want a balance. You know, we boil it for a five minutes because it don't soak it from overnight. You see, if you don't soak it from overnight, you know you have to boil it a longer time. So, like when we done um, soak it out from overnight, just five minutes, and when you pick it up again, it still tastes too salty. If it's too salty, you still wash it all back. Right? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna prepare my, my seasoning for the rundown. All right? Yeah. I'm gonna do that first. He's washed already, yeah, guys. I washed everything already. My mail is I wash my stuff then for the video. Now I'm gonna see prepare another one here. It's like a two liter. I use one and a half two liter. Yeah. Guys, you don't know I love my tomato. I'm supposed to know that. I love, love my tomato. For real. Mm -hmm. <laughs> real life. Yeah, onion, skeleton, and thyme. Yes, garlic. Garlic, guys. One time, these people, man, remember, you prevent a seed of your garlic is a must there. Yeah, my mother never used to use sweet pepper. No. And nowadays, why use sweet pepper at the time, man? 
ginger. Now we have me love ginger tuna guys. Guess what? Salt mackerel are the only thing. When me and fry up our salt fish and ackee and dip some of the ginger. Mm. Only meat. Meat and soup and rice and peas. I use my ginger. Yeah. yeah. Old fashioned. Old fashioned messy. Get my own place, I have to have my own garden. Trust me. I have to have a garden because I'm something expensive. I've plant. I'm going to plant a tomato, I'm going to plant a skeleton. I'm not sure about the time though, but this is skeleton, tomato, rosemary, then something, the pepper, sweet pepper. Yes, man. I have to plant this stuff then. Yeah. I'm never shown, you know. I'm going to show you something. It's serious. Yeah, man. Guys, sometimes it's 500 dollars like a pound of sweet pepper, tomato, 500 But you know, we got in the vessel you now and we work it out. One day, one day, I'm going to smile down. These are my lovely seasoning now. It's a piece of time now, I'm not in time, it's time day. Right? So, yeah, I'm going to put this together now. Yeah. Five minutes. Fire now, turn out the stove and I'm removing it from the fire. So I'm gonna wash it out, pick it up. Yeah, well, let's say pick it up, right? Pick all the bones, majority of the bones. So, yeah. Kind of care when, it, when you say you pick up this, you know, guys. I can't get up all the bones, you know, all of the bones, you know. But I don't, I don't taste it as yet. You see the amount of salt, okay? <clears throat> perfect guys the salt is perfect in it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. guys tell me down in the comments if you want to see me do a red arena red arena red arena guys tell me that yes red arena video red arena nice enough i will do it Red herring back in the days. Nowadays, when you buy red herring, you know, guys, you get it stripped and everything, you know, headless and pick up nice and thing. But when I was a child growing up, you know, we used to get it with the head and the skin, we have to smoke. My mother used to put it by the stove, cold stove, or the fire, the wood fire, and, and swing it, strip it off and stuff. But you had it this one, yeah. You now get it away there again. Modernized days now. Our mother and days now. So let me just pick up this guys. I don't want to do it up on camera. I want to know you know guys, if it's a thing when you get in older, like, how many young you know me eat on raw pepper? Eat the pepper raw. So tell me if it happened to you too. Because as I taste the pepper, my eyes start to run water and I start to cough. Can't eat pepper again to that. So let me just finish this guys and come back and cook it up nicely and show them, right? So come. Here's my lovely salt mackerel. Pick up nicely. You know guys, I have my head, I'm going to show my mackerel head and I have a piece of bone. I right? love it with the bone. I love my bone guys, mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> Alright. For now, let me just put in a little oil. Starting my veggies. Alright. We have a coconut milk. We can use any coconut milk, any pack coconut milk of a choice or the thin one. Yes, you can use it. Alright, so let me put in. Oh, I never show you the pepper, guys, on camera. I forget the pepper, so afterwards I'll remember the pepper. So let me put in all these. 
Oh, the pepper smell is so sweet, but look, wow, that don't start. Sorry, so I can't eat the baguette. So that's. That's. Oh, yes, man, this is all the niceness, guys. This is gonna make the rundown turn up to the coconut milk. Yes. Oh, a lot of vinegar. A little vinegar. That mackerel is about. Fish and vinegar, guys. Always remember that. Fish, vinegar. Mm -hmm. Nice. Just put a little vinegar. You have steam your fish. You have anything other than fish vinegar. So sweet and the aroma, wow, it's, it's so awesome. Awesome guys, this is so awesome. I'm gonna put in my coconut milk now. Ah, uh, the flavor has come out in a bowl. Can you put in this? I'm gonna cover it down for uh, five minutes. And then we're gonna put in our mackerel. Uh, mackerel. This, this is it. All right, so I'm gonna put in my mackerel. Wow, this is so awesome. This is so. All right, some black pepper, right? You know, we still have one. You will see no one. I got them. Run down. Nice. So I'm doing this for all the people who cannot be bothered with the with the coconut, with the coconut, the bread coconut, blend coconut. This is an next another way that they can do it and it's still nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's still a lot of taste for pot. Right. I'm just gonna turn on the stove and just cover it down and let it come together. Let all the flavors come together nicely, right? Wow. Nice. Oh my god, I'm tasting it in the half camera and I'm gonna taste it again. So all the flavor come together now when I say no, the niceness, look. The richness. You know, Miss Coconut. You know, Miss Real Coconut. You know, trust me. I'm gonna turn it off now. Though. <coughs> All right. So that is it. So. Come on, perfect, guys. Perfect. I'm about my dumpling, guys. I'm not using any salt, you know. I'm not using any salt. I'm just gonna put a small amount of salt in the water to cook, the, cook all these. Yes, yeah, that's it. Salt mackerel rice. Salt mackerel and rice, guys. No. You're a man that has. <laughs> salt mackerel and rice. Maybe if you love rice like that, but not me. Like all your rice, over you will love. 
Um, I don't think so. Awesome. That's all nice. That could have never nice nice. Rice with salt mackerel rondo. My ancestors are crying. My ancestors said, no, what are you doing? <laughs> ancestors never said that. No way, guys. Love rice look more, no sir. Finish kneading the floor, so I'm gonna move on to the bananas. I'm gonna peel the bananas. Let's see, see, these are them white inside white, yeah. Soft man, soft. I am gonna go good still enough piece of white yam. Soft. Yeah. But you know, just use what I have, you know. This can be a Sunday dinner too. You know? Sunday you're tired of the rice, you know, guys. Sunday dinner, Sunday breakfast, anything. I'm doing the week, doing the week, anything at all, man. Yeah. Any time of the week, any day of the week. All one time, me only young, all the younger guys. I mean, I said, if me not cook rice and peas on a Sunday, it's like a dead sentence. No, 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 man. Any day of the week, rice and peas, guys. Anything Sunday rice and peas, Saturday rice and peas. If you have a rice and peas for that Sunday, see away anything you have. You bless it, cook it, bless it, and eat it. Right? Just thank God for it while it's not hungry. Right? Yeah. And then we just strip it off, you know. Some country have some Caribbean country, then don't peel them banana, you know. Then cook it in the skin. You think it it out a banana break. When you cook it in the skin, you know, all, all the thing lacking and you know, all the nutrients lacking still in you know, the best way. That's you know, that's the best way, but that's not our way, that's not Jamaican way. You know. But they do them thing different, so. In your, your food like your yam and your banana your dumpling what you put in first you put your dumpling first and then you put your banana and your yam tell me i really matter it not really matter to me still it doesn't matter all right so i'll put in the dumpling now and then okay it's boiling so i'm gonna put in a little salt Dumplings, and everything cook one time, right? Can't wait, guys! Cannot wait.
it. I'll cover it and let it do its thing. This cook is cooked now. Well, I'm going to test the banana here. Yes. Mm -hmm. The sweet potato. Now I'm mash up. The sweet potato. I have banana bread already. Okay. I'm going to test the banana. Yes. So, so. I'm going to share a plate now. Yeah. So, guys. I need the water to just run up. I don't want the water in the plate. So that's why I'm going to share it in this first. Okay, and then I'll just put it over in this final shape. So I don't want the water in the plate. So that is the reason why I do it like this. See the, see the amount of water? Yes. Time for the good part. <laughs> Time for the good part. Time for the goodies. So I'm going to oh, see my bone here. It's alright. Let me make him stay for last. But my fish head, my mackerel head, see it here. Yes, guys. Oh my word. Oh my word, guys. Drink of all of this. Huh? Look. Look at this food. Alright. Only for juice, guys. Yes. So awesome. so awesome so guys thanks again for watching this is an updated one of the coconut powder all right so that's why i beat for you all thanks again for watching please remember to subscribe to the channel turn on the bell give me a thumbs up yes guys give me a thumbs up all right so see you all in the next video and bye you know me have to taste my food don't it all right don't play Mm. Mm. Can use the coconut powder when you do it just tell me down in the comment and tell me whenever you do it and say well let me try to the coconut powder and it was so awesome yeah man try it guys